thesmartlocal.com. Scan our QR code, follow us on Snapchat, and get an exclusive look into what life is like in TSL. Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Pretty Smart. My name is Cheryl, and this is a special National Day episode. And we will be attempting to make some old school Singaporean goodies. attempt to do three old-school Singaporean goodies and the first one here is egg biscuits I used to have this when I was young and it's like it melts in your mouth so good and we're gonna attempt to do this so are you ready Let's go. so we got all the ingredients here all you need is one egg yolk milk sugar and potato starch so the first step we're gonna do is to throw the egg yolk into the mixing bowl now we're going to add all of the sugar in this ramekin and mix it up. It's mixed, I'm going to throw in the potato starch. Anyways, meanwhile while I'm mixing, can you tell what inspired my fishtail braid today? Think of what is the national icon of Singapore? Malayan. Yeah, it's a Malayan! So the Malayan has a fishtail and I also have a fishtail. <laughs> so you want to achieve this salted egg yolk consistency. But it's not salted egg yolk, boys and girls, so do not eat it like that. We're gonna add in a little bit of milk at a time. Ooh, I think we're getting there. So I've used my hands to knead it, and it looks like this. So you want it to be a smooth, flawless dough. And we're just gonna take a little bit and roll it in your hand. So we're just going to put this in the oven for 15 minutes at 180 degrees Celsius. And now it's out of the oven. It doesn't look very attractive, I must say. But let's try it and see whether it tastes good. Slightly crunchier than those you can find at the shelves. The after texture at the end of it, similar to this, it's like powdery and smooth. You guys should try it and let us know whether you like it too. I quite like it actually. So the second item we're going to attempt to make today is Jen Biscuits. Remember these colourful ones when we were younger? I would always eat the coloured icing first and then I save the biscuit for later because that's my favourite part. And the ingredients are also very very simple. All you need is butter, plain flour, pasta sugar, royal icing mix from any baking store you can find, with red colouring, food dye, because it's national day and a little bit of water. Are you ready to start? Because I am. Let's go. The butter. Make sure your butter is in room temperature. And we're gonna add in the sugar. Cream it, cream it. So now I've creamed the, the butter and the sugar. We're gonna put in the plain flour next. <laughs> That's my flour dance. <laughs> this is the evidence of my hard work. So now I've mixed the dough and everything. I'm just gonna roll it out to about 1 cm in height. So here I'm using a piping tip. So all you do is put this inside the flour. So we just cut up all of these into circles and we're gonna put it in the fridge for 20 minutes for it to hold its shape. In the meantime, we're gonna do the icing on top. We're gonna put inside Entire packet of the royal icing mix. Here we have about 60 to 80. Just gonna pour it all in and mix it with all the muscle you have on your arms. Yeah! Okay, not too hard. It is advisable for you to use electric mixer if you have it at home, but we don't have it in the office. So A few moments later. Finally! After so long. I think let's go with this. Okay, I'm gonna add some red coloring. Oh my gosh. It's like candy cane. Okay, I'm just gonna put it in two separate piping bags. One red and one white. So our cookies have cooled in the refrigerator for 20 minutes. We're gonna pop it in the oven at 160 degrees Celsius for 7 to 8 minutes. So the cookies are out of the oven, they have chilled. We're gonna do white first. I'm so surprised 